answer, war must cease. The time has come for peace. No more war. War is not the answer. War must cease. Time has come. is not the answer war must cease the time has come for peace my name is Stephen Rohde and I am chair of Interfaith Communities United for Justice and Peace I thank each and every one of you for coming out today October 7 marks the 10th anniversary of an amoral war that has caused thousands of deaths, wasted billions of dollars, destabilized the region, and has undermined the U.S. standing in the world and damaged our economy. And let us always make the connection between the military industrial complex and the kind of imperial occupation now for 10 years in Afghanistan and our opposition to it with the prison industrial complex and what's been going on for so many of our poor brothers and sisters of all colors disproportionately black and brown and then the connection to the Wall Street oligarchy complex and the corporate media complex and we say as Americans, we're going to take a stand against it. This is not anti-American. This is anti-injustice in America. We're trying to make the country more free, more democratic, keeping the focus on the least of these, keeping the focus on poor people. Let us not forget the precious children of all colors. 42% of our precious children live in or near poverty. That's a moral disgrace. And any time you drop the drones and the bombs, it lands in red. Reservations, it lands on brown barrios, it lands with our poor white brothers and sisters in Appalachia, it lands in the black hood, it lands in Asian slices. That's why we are all colors, that's why we're all religions, and yeah, we got some atheistic and agnostic brothers and sisters here. We are here together, we here together talking about justice. We say make jobs not war, make sense not war, make art not war, make anything not war. And I want to say that we do have enough right now. While people talk about a scarcity, we actually have plenty of resources. What we have a problem with is allocation. Code Pink knows that it's time to stop occupying other nations and instead occupy our own city squares. We're connecting the greed on Wall Street with the greed of war profiteers. American national security depends on a less militarized foreign policy. And Afghanistan's future depends on Afghans, not American soldiers. <laughs>